Welcome to another UVI Falcon tutorial. And in the previous tutorials, we talked about the structure. We talked about what is a multi-program. We talked about parts, about layers, about key groups. But now I want to just do something very simple. Let's create some sounds and we'll use the different elements like oscillators, like uh, envelopes or uh, LFOs. We'll use some effects and just make some noise. So let's get started and I'm going to walk you through some of the ideas that you can find in Falcon. Let's get started and create some sounds. So I've cleared the multi and you can do this very easily through the menu here, clear multi and everything will be back to its default. And in order for us to get started and have some noise, we need an oscillator and we have a lot of choices here. So I'm going to the oscillator tab here on the right sidebar. I'm going to close everything. And as you can see, we have two groups. We have sample based and synthesis based. I'm going to cover all of these oscillator in, oscillators in separate video. But for now, let's concentrate on the synthesis type and just get a simple analog basic so and the way it works is uh, I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to drop it here and I'm creating the mapping so as I go down here the the selection will narrow as I go up it will widen until it covers all the keys and now we have our oscillator and we can play so this is how it sounds right now. And if we want to do something more interesting, we should use some elements like an envelope. So in the key group level, we already have an amp envelope. This is how it looks like. And it has the usual ADSR controls. If you don't know what is an envelope, I suggest you go to my channel and check because I have some very short videos about basic concepts in synthesis and I also have a basic synthesis course so everything is is actually covered there but I'll, I'll give you some hints here the attack will control how fast or, or how long would it take for the sound to reach its maximum velocity so as I, I turn this um, on you'll see that the, the, the sound takes more time. It's, it's sort of fading in slower. And I can do this very, uh, very long and it will be kind of a pad. And I can set the release time. So the release will be how much time would it take for the sound to fade away once I lift my fingers from the keyboard. So another basic idea would be to get some filtering and remove some of the frequencies or, you know, shape the frequencies that we have. So in order for me to do this, I can just add here at the key group level, go select filter and get just a basic analog filter. There you go. So this is the filter. It has three different modes or types. So it's either low pass, high pass and bend pass and the, the 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 difference is do we want to hear more low frequencies or high frequencies or just a band of frequencies and then we have the cutoff point that will decide what goes in and what goes out so when we're using low pass it means that we are letting the low frequencies pass and just cutting off the uh, high frequency. So this is how it sounds. So that's not very interesting. What I can do is I can automate the cutoff, sort of uh, doing this. So if we want to do that, I can right click on the cutoff, add modulation and go at the key group level and select a new analog ADSR. So now that's what we have here. And this is the ADSR. This is 
uh, going to control the cutoff, not the volume. And you can see the dot, the, the, the little dot here just jumps to the right. And this is controlled by our attack. The attack time will set how much time would it take for the cutoff to turn from left to right. So you can see this is really fast. Let's set this to something like 200 milliseconds. Okay, it's hard to be accurate, but th there you go. And then uh, let's see what happens. And if we'll do something like 400. And I can set the cutoff to something even lower. Right, so this is the idea. This is how we use an ADSR envelope to control whatever parameter we want. And I can add some resonance, which will be a, sort of a uh, push or a, a kind of a, a bump around the cutoff point. And this will create some wah wah sound. Right, and what else can we do? We can actually add more uh, effects. So I can have at the, the effect at different levels. So right now we have an analog filter here at the key group level. And this is getting kind of complex, right? So let's go to the tree view and have a look. So we have our uh, master area here and that con contains a part. That's the part that we are here. This is the part that we're um, actually using and it runs a program. That program is, you can see the asterisk, it means that we changed something. So maybe we should save this, right? So if I'll save this very simply, save program as, we'll call this um, example one. And now you can see that this program has a name and it contains one layer which runs one key group and that key group is uh, actually running um, one analog oscillator and the analog filter effect here. So that's what we have. And if we'll just focus here on the key group, you, you can see some uh, parameters, some information in the inspector. If I'll click on the analog oscillator, you'll see the different values that we have, the, the root note and, and all the information. And you can see this also here in the user interface, right? And we have the analog filter as well. So uh, what now? What can we do? So I, I can also add some effects at the layer level. Okay, this is the layer level. There's nothing running at the layer level right now. We have no effects, no events, no uh, modulations. I can click here and add a reverb, for example. Let's get the shimmer. And let's hear how this sounds. Very, very interesting, right? So what else can I do? I can actually add some delay at whatever uh, level I want. So I can go and just select a level and it, it's getting more complex, but don't worry, I'm going to simplify everything. So here at the key group level, we have an analog filter that can go into some other effects. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's blocked here. The delay is not available. The analysis is not available. So not everything is available at any, at all the groups. So I need to add this effect higher in the food chain. So I can go to, uh, for example, go to the layer level. And this is the layer level. And I can add a delay. Just a simple, um, let's take tape echo this one and I can actually go and 
set the order so I can have first the, the delay and then I can run the, the reverb. I can go on and on. I can actually add some uh, some distortion or some some fuzz or overdrive, for example. And again, I can I can push this um, to any any position I want. So I can have first the overdrive, then the the reverb, and then the tape echo or uh, switch them, whatever I want. So now just for fun, let's add some arpeggiator and I can do it from different places. I can do it from this tab here, from the event processors, or I can just click the event here, select arpeggiator and select the default, for example, and just play some notes. Right, and if I want, I can just right click and change it to some other type of uh, arpeggiator. For example, I can select chord and let's select some, just the, the first one. And again, I can do something else, just change the presets here, the modes. And right clicking again, right clicking here on the arpeggiator, select again something else. Now, of course, it, it really depends on the sound that you created, and, and we've created here something that is more pad like and it, it is related to our amp envelope with a very uh, long attack. So I can change this just for you know fun to something really fast and it will be much more uh, snappy or plucky And that's it. So uh, that was uh, just one example of how to create some sounds and start, you know, starting from scratch, uh, just improvising here and creating some sound. So let's do this again in the next video. And, uh, and then we'll explore some more techniques and some more elements in Falcon. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.